Boys and girls, today is Tuesday, and we're going to start on lesson 42 of the first grade program. So remember, workbook, pencil, crayons, right? Okay? Let's get started. We're going to look up definitions for a spider. First, we name a class. Then, we say something that is true of only a spider. Remember, first we name a class. Then, we name something that is true of only a spider. What do we do first? Get ready. Name a class. Next, we say something that's true of only a spider. What do we do next? Get ready. Yes, we name something that is true of only a spider. Once more, what do we do first? Get ready. You name a class. What do we do next? Get ready. Name something that is true of only a spider. Very good. Now let's make up a definition. So remember, what do we do first? Get ready. Name a class. Very good. So let's see. I want you to name a class for a spider. Get ready. Yes, animals. Very good. A spider is an animal. So now we named a class. Then what do we do? Get ready. Yes, now we named something that is true of only a spider. So I want you to name something that is true of only a spider. Get ready. Yes, it makes a web. Very good. So everybody, I want you to say the definition for the spider. Get ready. A spider is an animal that makes webs. Very good. Now we're going to make up a definition for an elephant. Remember, what do we do first? Get ready. You name a class. Very good. Name a class for an elephant. Get ready. Animals. Very good. An elephant is an animal. So now that we've named a class, what do we do next? Get ready. Name something that is true of only an elephant. Very good. Now I want you to name something that is true of only an elephant. Get ready. It has a trunk. Very good. Now say the, say the definition for an elephant. Get ready. Yes, an elephant is an animal that has a trunk. Very good. Let's say those definitions again. I want you to say the definition for a spider. Get ready. Yes, a spider is an animal that makes a web. Now I want you to make and now I want you to say the definition for an elephant. Get ready. Yes, an elephant is an animal that has a trunk. Awesome thinking, boys and girls. Good job. Okay, guys, and now we're going to get started on the next exercise. Listen, I'm thinking of a frying pan. I'm going to name some classes a frying pan is in. Watch. Here's the smallest class, frying pans. Here's the next bigger class, things to cook in. And here's the biggest class, containers. I want you to name the class that has more kinds of things in it. Get ready? Containers, very good. Now listen, it's your turn to name the classes a frying pan is in. What's the smallest class? Get ready? Frying pans, very good. What's the next bigger class? Get ready? Things to cook in, very good. And what's the biggest class? Get ready? Containers, very good. Now listen, there is one kind of object you would find in all those classes. Name the kind of object you would find in all those classes. Get ready? Yes, a frying pan. Very good, boys and girls. All right, guys, so now we're going to do our next exercise, which is calendar. Watch. We are here today. I don't know if you can see it. There you go. Okay. We're going to talk about today, tomorrow, and one week from today. 
I want you to tell me the day of the week it is today. Get ready. Tuesday, very good. Tell me the day of the week it will be tomorrow. Get ready. Wednesday, very good. Now tell me the day of the week it will be one week from today. Get ready. Tuesday, yes, very good. Now we're going to talk about the dates. We are here today, remember. I want you to tell me today's date. Get ready. Yes, today's date is Tuesday, April 14th. Very good. Now we're here. I want you to think and tell me what date will it be one week from today? Get ready. Yes, one week from today, it will be Tuesday, April 21st. Very good. Let's do the dates again. Remember, we're here. Tell me today's date. Get ready. Yes, Tuesday, April 14th. Tell me the date will be, it will be tomorrow. Get ready. Yes, Wednesday, April 15th. Very good. Now tell me the date of the week. It will be one week from today. Get ready. Yes, Tuesday, April 21st. Very good, boys and girls. And I think that deserves a celebration. You guys are doing awesome today. Let's do peanut butter jelly. Ready? You get your bread ready. And it's peanut butter jelly time, peanut butter jelly time. Peanut butter jelly, peanut butter jelly, peanut butter jelly and peace. Hey guys, so for the next exercise, we're going to be talking about to and from. Now listen, I want you to put your finger on your nose. Get ready? Very good. Now, where is your finger? Get ready. On my nose, very good. I want you to move your finger from your nose. Get ready. Now listen, how did you move your finger? Get ready. From my nose, very good. I want you to say the whole thing about what you did. Get ready. Yes, I moved my finger from my nose. Great job. Now listen, I'm going to ask questions about a man and saw. Everybody, can a man drink a saw? Get ready? No. Say the statement. Get ready. A man cannot drink a saw. Very good. Now, can a man cut with a saw? Get ready. Yes, very good. Say the statement. Get ready. A man can cut with a saw. Very good. Now it's your turn. I want you to make another statement that tells something about what a man can do with a saw. Get ready. Yes, very good. Now say the statement about what a man can do with the saw. Get ready. Very good. Now listen, I want you to make up a statement that tells something a man cannot do with the saw. Get ready? Yes, very good. Say that statement about what a man cannot do with the saw. Get ready? Perfect, very good guys. Now get ready to answer some questions about a wagon. Can you ride a wagon? Get ready? Yes. Can you fold a wagon? Get ready. No. Can you fly a wagon? Get ready. No, very good. Can you put a dog in a wagon? Get ready. Yes. Can you pull a wagon? Get ready. Yes. Can you write with the wagon? Get ready? No, very good. 
Can you tear a wagon into pieces? Get ready? No, that would be silly. Can you can a wagon hold water? Get ready? Yes, very good. Can a boy pull a wagon? Get ready? Yes, very good. Say the whole thing about what a boy can do. Get ready. Yes, a boy can pull the wagon. Very good. Can a boy fly a wagon? Get ready. No. Say the whole thing. Say the whole thing. Get ready. Yes, a boy cannot fly a wagon. Very good. Boys and girls. Now we're going to make to talk about statements that are true and false. I'm going to make statements about beds. You'll say true or false. Listen, you put blankets on bed. Is that true or false? Get ready? True. You can sleep on a bed. True or false? Get ready? True. Very good. Beds grow in the ground. True or false? Get ready? False. You see a bed in the bedroom. True or false? Get ready? Yes, very good. True. Your beds are covered with stone. True or false? Get ready? False, very good. I'm going to say statements. Some of these statements are true, some are false. You tell me about each statement. Cows lay eggs. True or false? Get ready? False, very good. Water is dry. True or false? Get ready? False, very good. Birds have feathers. True or false? Get ready? True, very good. A bottle is a container. True or false? Get ready? True, very good. Listen, trees grow in the clouds. Is that true or false? Get ready? False, yes. Now it's my turn. I'm going to make up a statement about cows that is true. Listen, cows sometimes live in barns. That statement is true. Now it's your turn. Make up a statement that is true about cows. Get ready. Yes, very good. Now that statement is, get ready. True, very good. Now make up another statement that is true about cows. Get ready. Very good. Again, that statement is, get ready. True. Now my turn. I'm going to make up statements about cows that are false. Listen. Cows say meow. Cows have feathers. Cows are plants. Those statements are all false. Now it's your turn. Make up a statement about cows that is false. Get ready. Very good. Now that statement is Get ready. False. Very good. Again, make up another statement about cows that is false. Get ready. Yes, very good. Now that statement is, get ready. False. Very good with true and false, boys and girls. And guess what time it is. It's workbook time, boys and girls. Remember, we are doing lesson 42, 44 and 2, 42. It looks like this. Birds, the bird bath, and then you have a chart on the bottom. So make sure you have the right page, you have your pencil, and your crayons ready. Listen, you've heard the story about a woman named Bonnie who bought the bird bath for her yard. One day, Bonnie was talking to her neighbors, and Bonnie said, I always have red birds and yellow birds and blue birds in my yard, but there are always more red birds than any other color. One neighbor said, 
That's not true. I've looked in your yard many times when I was trying to find Sweetie. And I know for a fact there are always more yellow birds than any other color. Not true, said another neighbor. Every time I've looked in your yard while walking my wonderful dog, <clears throat> honey, I've always seen more blue birds than any other color. Now think, if the wise old rat heard this conversation, how do you think he'd go about finding the right answer? What could you do? Think. Get ready. Okay. Yes, the smart way is to find out the answer by counting the birds. So you can be smart. Everyone, look at your workbook page. The letters on the birds show what color they should be. The letter R or R on a bird shows that the bird should be red. Now it's your turn. Take out your red crayon and put a red mark on all the birds that have the letter R on them. Don't miss any birds, but do it fast and don't color the whole bird. Just put a red mark on each bird inside the picture that has an R on it. Don't color the bird in the big box. Ray, go ahead and grab your red color and do it now, guys. Okay, now listen. Now look at the box below the picture. Let me grab my... We're looking at this box now, boys and girls. Look at this box. You'll see a picture of, with the bird in it that has the letter R. Right here. <clears throat> right after the bird... I'm sorry. Right after that bird are the words red birds. Then there's an empty box. Write the number of red birds in that box. I want you to count all the red birds in the picture and write the number in the top box. So remember, you're going to count all of the red birds. Write the number here. Go ahead and count them out. Alrighty, boys and girls. Now I want you to think, what number did you write for the number of red birds? Get ready. Yes, it was 10. Wow, that's a lot. Now do the same thing for the yellow birds. I want you to make a yellow mark on every bird in the picture that has a letter Y on it. The Y is for yellow. After you make your yellow marks, count the yellow birds and write the number in the box for yellow birds. Go ahead and do that now. All right, boys and girls, tell me, how many birds did you count that were yellow? Get ready. Six, yes. Now I want you to do the same for the blue birds. Make a blue mark on every bird in the picture that has a letter B on it. The B is for blue. After you make your blue marks, count the blue birds and write the number in the box for blue birds. Now go ahead and do that now. Now think, what number did you write for blue birds? Get ready. Seven. Very good. Now, get ready to tell me to, your numbers again. How many red birds are in the red box? I'm sorry, how many red birds are in the picture? Get ready. Yes, ten. Very good. How many yellow birds are in the picture? Get ready. Six. And how many blue birds are in the picture? Get ready. Yes, seven. Very good. Now, listen. <clears throat> Let's see who was right about the birds in Bonnie's yard. Here's what Bonnie said. There are always more red birds than any other color. Think about that. Is that statement true or false? 
Get ready? True. Very good. One neighbor said, there are always more yellow birds than any other color. Is that statement true or false? Get ready? False. Yes. Another neighbor said, there are always more blue birds than any other color. Think. Is that statement true or false? Get ready? False. Yes, very good. So tell me, who was right? Was it Bonnie or one of her neighbors? Get ready? Yes, Bonnie was the one that was right. So before you leave the picture, there's one more box to fill out below the picture. Right? This one, the very last one. There's one more box to fill out below the picture, but I really don't know what goes in there. Touch the last box below the picture. It says other animals. I guess they want you to write the number of other animals that are in the picture, but I really don't see any. Maybe you do. See if you can find any other animals in the picture. <clears throat> Count up any other animals that are not birds and write the number in the last box. If you don't find any other animals, you can write zero in the box. Now remember, you're going to write the number of other animals you can find in the picture. Think, what other animals do you see in the picture? How many other ones? Get ready? Yes, there's two more. Very good. I guess they were hiding somewhere in there. I just didn't pay attention and didn't see them. Remember, you're going to color the whole page. So the marks that you made for the birds are the colors you're going to color those birds. Don't forget to color the bushes. Oh, that's where that is. Hmm. Who's that, boys and girls? Yes. That's sweetie. Look at her. Remember the color that sweetie is. Yellow. Very good. And don't forget to color the bird back. Okay? And that is all for this um, lesson. Tomorrow we will start on lesson 43. So make sure you have that ready before we start our lesson. Okay? Have a great rest of the day and I will talk to you soon. Bye.